Hi, welcome to Spirits Mixology Management. This is uh, just a quick little presentation about thinking of um, how can I capture the most out of my reading and the course materials. So in this course, we're using the Society of Wine Educators Certified Specialist of Spirits. It's a action-packed, jam-packed book of information that'll make your bartending and restaurant beverage career quite a success. So it's really important before you show up for class uh, that you get the most out of the book. In order to do that, you really need to set some time aside and plan when you're going to do your reading and note taking from your reading. Uh, the assigned readings for each week should be done before we arrive in class. That'll make it much more comfortable during our points of discussion. It also gets the information started in your own head so that you can play a bigger role and if you play a role in class, it will impact how well you capture the material. While you're reading, you want to employ some form of note-taking technique, whether it's highlighting or visual note-taking, but it's really important to try and start the capture process while you're reading. Each of us has our own process, but uh, I don't know if you've thought of it from this visual presentation here on the slide, but there's work we've got to do before class That'll make us more successful during class. A part that's often missed is a little reflection or rewrite after class. These three foundational steps will get you prepared for when you have to take a quiz. And then when we're done with a quiz, if we can identify what we're still not grasping, that after quiz session can better prepare us for when we get to the exam session. These are all key steps in helping to make the course material, material easier for you to hold on to. All of us probably have different note-taking styles, so I just threw up on the slide here a couple of different ideas. Some people are definitely highlighters. I've just recently read some articles about the Cornell, Cornell note-taking method. Some of you might be outliners, and some of you like, might like to doodle. Um, sometimes drawing is a powerful way to capture what you're reading or learning. I understand you're totally welcome to bring laptops into class and type your notes. But there are studies that clearly say typing your notes is not as effective as handwriting the details. Now, maybe if you do both, you get twice as good. In our text, you're going to find there's a pretty consistent formatting of how it was laid out. Each chapter has a title, and then, of course, that will be equal to having our lesson title. And then there are less, uh, learning objectives listed there. I would use learning objectives of sort of questions uh, after I've sort of gotten to know the chapter to see if I can easily answer those objectives. As you get into the reading, you're going to see colored capitalized headlines that sort of identify key topics from the chapter. And then you're going to see black bolded headings that also identify key subtopics. These are helpful when trying to create an outline format. Don't go too quickly through charts and pictures because they can be jam-packed with information. As you're reading, you're going to see detailed numbers and lists. These will also be key when uh, being tested as well as trying to understand what makes one topic more unique to another. Last but not least, uh, you might, as a review, use a variety of different other tools. I recommend Quizlet. It's a very powerful, powerful flashcard system. You could create a study team using Google uh, online documents. Kahoot's a fun way to create another form of flashcards. You can review on YouTube. I really recommend this study site called How to Study in College. I put the link there on the bottom. When you're said and done, there's a lot to capture. So please work hard, ask questions, and remember that when you're all said and done, you can also complete a certification that's really a nice addition to your resume. I look forward to working with you. Thanks for your time.